Sinking Media in association with Box Draw. Dan Aziz, I think the first observation I've made is I'm, I'm amazed you've got no marks on your face, <laughs> considering how many punches were exchanged between yeah, both of you. For sure. Do you know what? Yeah, there was a lot of, um, you know, it was back and forth, but I caught a lot of the shots, but obviously maybe it might have looked like he landed more than what was um, portrayed. But yeah, no, he d don't get it twisted though, man. He did land some good shots and he did have his moments as well. How difficult was that to the f compared to the fights you've had before? Because you've been in, you, you've fought everyone at every sort of level. Um, every fight's difficult, if I'll be honest. And Shakan was game. I think he really came prepared and it showed he was up for it. Like I said, he had his moments. So, yeah, man, it was a good fight. Everyone expected you to be like getting a lot of success with the right hand. It seemed like he kind of took that away from you. Did you feel that yourself? No, I was just, um, I didn't throw it as much because there was other shots that I could see. You know, that's all people say like, yeah, he's got the big overhand and that's it. But no, that's not the only thing I throw and whatnot. But again, he's probably prepared and, you know, is aware of that. So, yeah. Definitely, man. And Obviously, watching it ringside, like it, it was a close fight. I personally scored it to you by one, possibly a draw. So the one seventy. Well, you're, you're from Birmingham, isn't it? So no, no, I'm not. I'm not from Birmingham. <laughs> but I genuinely, I'm yeah, saying, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it was a that, close fight. And that's yeah. me, like, just being real. No, so, for sure. so it, obviously, you, you came on real strong mm -hmm. towards the end. But in the fight, what were you thinking? Um, just keep pressing, keep pressing. Uh, my corner was just telling me, you know, keep, keep your head moving. Um, when you got him in the inside work, I could have done a lot better. But again, he's a credit to him, and he's a good fighter. Like you know what I mean, and that's why I wanted to defend my title against him because he's credible. So. That better be of sparring. That surely must have played in part in you just kind of just shrugging off because he took some yeah. big uppercuts in yeah. there. Um, again, he caught me with a like one or two, like maybe two, maybe three, but a lot of them I caught as well. But maybe it didn't look like that, but. Um, yeah, man. I, I knew that that's what he was going to come with as well. So we'd practice, you know, trying to evade it and stuff like that. So, yeah. Do you think your fans will give you, like, you know, the, the benefit of, like, the credit uh, for, for what the style that you bring? Because I spoke to Shaq and he said the guy's strong. Like, yeah. Yeah, it, it's, it's almost like you can't tell how strong he is until you're actually in there with him. Yeah. Um, I don't know, man. Hopefully they do give me the credit, you know, um, we, I, and hopefully we put on an entertaining fight as well. Um, you can you I don't know man. <laughs> Hopefully they do. I don't, do you know what I mean? What about you? What do you do? You give us the credit. Like was it? One hundred percent was a sick oh, fight. I, I think people expected to catch more fire, but mm -hmm. it, it was an in grueling, intriguing fight. Uh, and I, I get I gave Shaq a lot of the earlier rounds. I yeah. gave you one in the first six, but you come on real strong. Yeah. And then towards the end, I felt you might have nicked it by one, or it was a draw at worst case. Okay. Well, yeah. Listen. Um, I kind of expected that the early rounds for him to be sharp. That's he is quite usually sharp and um, come on, he's six six. Do you know what I mean? He's gonna keep me at the at range. But I knew as I pressed, you know, it will it will, you know, I will come on a bit stronger. So yeah. What's next for Dan Aziz? Um, who knows, man? Let's see. I think I got a few options available. Obviously, I called out Lyndon because obviously again he's another top operating in the domestic scene. He hasn't won the British prior to the fight. He said he'll be up for um, fighting the winner. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe him. We'll see if we could get on. Um, he's a cool guy. I was out in Canada sparring with him. Um, good fighter. So yeah, let's see, man. Hopefully. what would you? Who would you like to see me fight? I think Lyndon Arthur's the perfect step up, but yeah. obviously being with Wasserman, awesome, I don't know how that, that's going to get made. So uh -huh. who knows, man? But um, I'll let you have the final say. I think I spoke to you the other day and I loved the, the fact that you, you kind of said that you, you thank God in every moment rather than asking for things. And I think that kind of, it showed a lot about you as yeah. a person, not just as a boxer. So I'll let you finish with your final mm. message. And yeah, that's, that is the message I'm going to put out there. Just thank God, like, you know, I come away with a win um, against a very good fighter. Um, one of the interviewers was asking me, how does it feel like being on a big platform like Sky, you know, and you're doing your thing. I said, look, all I can do is just thank God I'm happy. Like, not a lot of boxers. There are a lot of boxers and not a lot of them make it to even that kind of level. I want anything special as an amateur. And to get to where I am now, I'm just so grateful. So, yeah, man, thank God. That's my last message. <laughs> well done, Dan. Thank you so much, bro.